In a special ABC 15 Smart Shopper, we're now looking at how the pandemic has had a huge effect on the movie industry. Tonight, a look at what's changed since 2020 and how to combat one of the biggest roadblocks, affordability for families. We want people to stay at home. Under executive order from the governor's office, in the early days of the pandemic, movie theaters were forced to close, only to reopen and be closed again in June. Oh yes, the pandemic has brought many new challenges to the movie theater or exhibition industry as we call it. Indoors, close quarters, pre-vaccine meant the theater experience was on hold indefinitely. And all that brought drastic changes. The pandemic kind of sped up what was going to naturally happen potentially mm. anyway. Margot Gerber of Landmark Theaters says movie insiders were preparing for a change, just not that fast. Streaming services and so many of them with quality content captured a newly homebound audience. These streaming services now are creating really expensive original content movies, big blockbusters with stars that beam directly into your home first and foremost. That's a big change than what it used to be. Kevin Sandler, professor of film and media studies at ASU agrees, drawing movie goers back is difficult. It is a challenge. I mean, it, and, but it is the future, uh, especially now that we're seeing movies premiering on the same day that they premiere in the movie theaters. How long that will last after COVID, we're not sure, but people are more comfortable now watching big movies at home. But streaming fatigue is real and perhaps moments together are missed. Getting together in a communal way, sharing a laugh, sharing your popcorn, you know, just being in an environment with other people where you can hear them laugh and maybe cry. Those who run the theaters sure hope so. They're candid about what's stacked against them. And now affordability is a factor one they hope you'll keep in perspective. So if you weigh the fact that you might be paying upwards of $100 or more a month for all your streaming services, then maybe going to the movies once a month isn't as expensive as it appears. In addition, Margot suggests matinees and discounted days like Landmark offers on Mondays and Tuesdays. How that's going to change in a way is still unclear. Still, people are staying away from the theaters that may continue. Still, home systems are not the same, and Kevin thinks it'll take big franchise pictures to save the theaters. That people, instead of watching at home, they're willing to pay a premium, you know, $10, $12 a ticket to see things that they know, that are familiar to them, that are expensive, that are spectacular, and have to be experienced on the big screen. So there's also plenty of discounts and deals out there offered by theaters across the valley. You can get 30% off tickets every day at select AMC theaters for the matinee. That's filmed starting before 4 o'clock. Cinemark discounts tickets all day every Tuesday. So does Harkins Theaters. If you're an awards member, we've got all the deals and discounts on movie tickets to help save you money. Go to abc15.com forward slash smart shopper.